Hi, I'm Julie, keeper of my home. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really great fall dessert recipe for you. I love pumpkin and I know there's a lot of you guys that like pumpkin too. This is a pumpkin crisp recipe and for the ingredients we are going to need two cups of oats. Now this can be quick cooking or old fashioned. These are old fashioned oats. I've done it both ways. Either way works fine. Two cups of all purpose flour, one cup of brown sugar, and then we have in here a half a teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda, two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice, and we also have about a half a cup of chopped pecans, and one cup of grated butter. Now this is butter that has been frozen and I grated it in its frozen state because you want it to be nice and cold. For the filling, we have three eggs. And these are farm fresh eggs from our chickens. And one cup of sugar, and this is organic sugar, uh, cane sugar. And one 15 ounce can of pumpkin puree. Now that's not the pie filling, it's just the puree. So you don't want the one with the additional stuff in it to make a pie. You have one cup of heavy whipping cream and two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice and a half teaspoon of salt. And I use sea salt. Oh, I almost forgot. We have vanilla here too. Just need one teaspoon of vanilla and we also need a nice big cast iron pan. You can also do this in a baking dish, um, oh, probably a nine by 13 baking dish will work. I like to use the cast iron. You need one bowl and whisk for your um, pumpkin mix. And of course you need another bowl for the crumble. First thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 375, so I have done that. Typically I would use the cook stove, but it's actually unusually warm today, so we do not have a fire going. Okay, so let's get started on the crisp part of our pumpkin crisp. Okay, so we have our one cup of frozen shredded butter. So we've got that in the bowl. Okay, first thing I'm going to add is my flour. And I'm going to add my spices because I'm going to kind of shake them in together and mix them in a little bit with my flour just to get them mixed really well. Then I'm going to add my oats, my brown sugar, and I'm not going to add my pecans yet. Those are going to go in the top of the crust. So I'm going to wait on those. All right, so what you want to do is you want to hand mix this. You can use a spoon if you'd rather not use your hands. But I like to use my hands to break up these um, pieces of butter to make sure they stay pea-sized because that's what you want. I'm also breaking up any pieces of brown sugar that have clumped. Sometimes brown sugar tends to do that. You just, like I said, want everything to be pea-sized. If it's not, no worries. I don't think it's gonna break the deal here. All right, that looks like it's mixed really well. I know it smells really good. Okay, so what we wanna do now, is I'm gonna push this aside and I'm gonna bring over my big pan. I did grease this with a little bit of coconut oil. All right, so I'm going to take four cups of my crumble mix. I'm gonna put that in here. This is a really easy dessert to make, and I bet you've probably never heard of a pumpkin crisp. You've probably heard a lot about apple crisp, peach crisp, or you know some type of a fruit crisp, but 
This is a little bit of a twist on that. And also, my oven sounds like it just got up to temperature. I'm gonna use this in here, and I'm gonna pack this down really, really well. Now, for all of you who are not fans of pie crust, this would be the way to go. Or maybe you are a fan of a pie crust, but you're more of a fan of an apple crisp. This is, I don't even have words. It is so good, it is so good. Now I am getting this a little bit up the sides, maybe half to an inch. Um, a little bit, you don't have to, but I kind of like to have it go up the sides so that it can cradle in the uh, filling. Kind of like a crumble pie crust, I guess. And I'm packing this in really, really well. I want it to be in there really good. And I used the bottom of this measuring cup to help me out with that. Some of it sticks to it, but that's okay. Just get that down, all right. So the rest we are going to reserve for the top. Okay, so let's put this aside and work on the filling. And first thing we're going to do is I'm gonna put my eggs in here first, just because if I get a shell in here, I wanna be able to uh, scoop it out. shell in there. Oops. There we go. All right. So I'm going to whisk these and you do want your eggs at room temperature. And to these I am going to add my one cup of organic cane sugar. I'm going to mix this. Then I'm going to add my pumpkin. And again, this is a 15 ounce can of pumpkin puree. It is not the pie filling that is already mixed and ready to you know, make a pie with. Get all of that out of there. Get this mixed in. This is going to be so delicious. And I love desserts like this because they come together really easily. They're great for a crowd. They're great for taking to a church supper. Um, they're great for holidays. Perfect for holidays. It, this would be perfect for Thanksgiving actually. You know for those who are not really pie lovers, this would be a great alternative. All right, we want to get this Put in here really nice. I want to smooth this out before I add anything else. Just get those eggs incorporated really well. I love pumpkin desserts. I love to um, eat with the seasons, I guess. Pumpkin, apples right now. I've actually been making a lot of applesauce. Joe has been helping me with that and steam juicing. Uh, our apples to make juice. All right, now I've got my one cup of heavy cream. Mix that in. I want to do my vanilla. Just a teaspoon of vanilla. Mix that in. One a half a teaspoon of salt. And I want two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. And if you don't have any pumpkin pie spice, you can make your own. It's very easy to make. All right, let's get this all mixed in nicely. Oh my gosh. The smell of fall. That's what I smell. I love it. And it just so happens that pumpkin pie is 
my favorite pie. So this, oh, I can't even begin to tell you. All right, I am going to use my spoon to fold it in really, really well. Make sure I get all of this incorporated. Isn't this looking good? You want to make sure you get all of that pumpkin mixed in there. Next step, we're going to pour all of this into the crust. I need a spatula to get all this goodness out of here. I don't want to leave any of it in here. It's just too good. We'll get all of that into our pan. Spread that gently around our crumble. Okay. And then you remember the pecans that we had? We're going to put those in the top part of the crumble. Just mix those in and sprinkle that over the top. Let's put this here so it's out of your way. Just gonna sprinkle this over the top. Look how good this looks. I love pecans, but not everybody loves pecans. So if you want to change it up, you can use whatever nut you want, or maybe you don't care for nuts. You can leave them out. They're not a must. Um, you could use walnuts, you could use cashews, you could use almonds, whatever, whatever you like. Or like I said, leave them out altogether. You could also use craisins. I think that would be really good in here too. You know, any fall flavors, I think, will lend themselves really well to this dessert. Okay. Just going to pat this down really well. See it jiggling on there in true pie fashion. Okay. I am going to get this into the oven for about 45 minutes. And then we're gonna pull it out and see how it looks. Okay, I removed this from the oven. Still a little bit warm. It's been out for about an hour. I wanted to just let it set really well. You can eat this warm or you can eat this cold, either way. I'm going to eat it warm right now because I'm not going to wait. <laughs> I got two dishes out. Joe and I just finished eating dinner, so we are going to enjoy this for dessert. All right, time to break in. Now that bottom crust is gonna be a little crispy. Oh my gosh. Joe's here first. This smells so good. You see all of that goodness? That pumpkin, how that sets up in there. Oh my gosh. Okay, time for a taste test. We'll just eat the rest of this. It's just very do good. 
do silent video from here on out, just us eating. <laughs> this is so good. A really great twist on an apple crisp. I think I like the pumpkin better than the apple because I feel like it doesn't, um, the crisp stays crispy and the pie sets up so well. And I'm a fan of pumpkin pie, like a huge fan. That should be a vegetable in my book. Um, so I'm, I'm all in on this. Uh, yeah, you, you just have to try this because it's so good. Mm hmm Joe thinks that we need some Cool Whip on top. I'm not a huge dairy fan, but it would be good. Um, maybe some whipped coconut cream with a little pumpkin spice added in it. That would be really good. Yeah. Lots and lots of different things. Um, maybe some pumpkin ice cream. That would be really good or some vanilla ice cream with pumpkin pie spice in it. I think that would be good, don't you, Joe? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's, he's shoveling it in just I'm like not. I am here. <laughs> this is hard not to like. So I will leave you the link to this recipe in my description box below the video. And I want to uh, give recipe credit to I Am Baker. That's a uh, blog. And I'll read her name again. It is Amanda Retke, maybe. Um, she is the one who developed this recipe. I did change it a little bit. Um, kind of changed out a few of the ingredients, but it is based off of her recipe. So if you'd like to go to her blog, I am Baker, you can find this recipe. I'll leave the link below. And until next time.